Hello guys. Welcome to Tech TPLM, a place to master programming. Uh, first of all, I would like to say a thanks from my bottom of my heart because you might have noticed that our lesson number two is having around 1.4k views. That is something very big for me and i have received some comments from our valued subscriber like pankaj and all like they do understand the lessons and they are happy to hear me and learn the lessons and all so that's all exciting for a creator like me so keep supporting uh, if you don't subscribe our channel please do subscribe so today we will go for a new lesson stay tuned Today's lesson is all about HTML paragraph. What is actually a paragraph? Okay, paragraph is just a block of text. So you might have seen so many block of text in the website when you visit. So there will be a paragraph in the main. So there will be a paragraph, might be a paragraph in the left side. There might be a paragraph in the right side of your web page you visit. Usually, they are explaining about some heading. That means there will be a heading, and the paragraph is the explanation about that heading. Right? Okay. Then now you might be thinking how do we place a paragraph in our web page? HTML paragraph tag will help you to do that. Paragraphs are done by using p tag okay so as you can see in the screen p is a container tag so there will be a starting tag and a closing tag and you already know what is a starting tag and what is a closing tag starting tag a closing tag will be a backslash uh, in front of the tag right okay so you can use you can make a paragraph using the p tag okay how do the paragraphs are displayed on the browser window that's what next we want to check Okay. browser automatically add some spaces before and after each paragraph so suppose you have five paragraphs in your uh, web page so browser will be automatically finding some spaces between each five okay so you don't need to do anything to get a space between the paragraph that browser will do okay and the main thing the browser ignores the line breaks in the source code what does that mean when you write the source code so suppose you have written like some few few words in the paragraph and you press enter key and you write the next uh, remaining paragraph in the next line again you press enter key but there is no point in pressing enter key in your browse in your source code window because even you write the paragraphs in line by line in the source code when it comes to the browser window it displays as the browser want to display it okay then how to make a line break in the paragraph so if we cannot make a line break by using the enter key how do we make line breaks in the paragraph you can make line breaks using a br tag okay so today so far we have learned two tags one is paragraph tag p tag and the second one is a br tag did you notice br is an empty tag what do you mean by that so you don't need you don't need a closing tag for br so a container tag will be having a closing tag but an empty tag will not be a closing tab so you can use a br wherever you want to make a line break what if you place two brs together easy you will get two line breaks okay so as i told you this is an empty tag and more br will give you more line breaks okay let's try to give a thematic break what do you mean by thematic break thematic breaks are lines passing through your web browser a straight horizontal line passing through your web browser you can use an hr tag to make a thematic break so if you want to make a thematic break you may be using an hr tag this is also an empty tag same like br there is no closing tag for the hr tag okay so that's it so we will try this come let's try this in the visual 
okay guys we are back to the lesson so you can see there is an HTML document for me so you are familiar with this doc type HTML head title and here it is written heading types so I'm gonna change it uh, so because I copied the previous example so I'm going to change it to paragraph test so we are gonna test the paragraph so in my browser's body I have placed an h1 h1 stands for heading 1 so which shows Google and there is a paragraph starting from Google LLC is an American multinational company something like that it's written and I have made a line breaks here and the line breaks here and line breaks here and line break here okay and let me show you how does it display on the browser so this is my browser window so when I refresh it you can see nothing happens so the paragraphs are displayed straight right so the paragraphs are displayed straight so wherever I press enter key it doesn't give me what it doesn't give me line breaks okay so I believe I forgot to save this progress okay I'll come back and refresh okay so now it is showing paragraph test and I made a small spelling mistake okay so this is a paragraph test and you can see when it comes back to the browser the paragraph this is the heading one which was Google and here you can see paragraph starts from here and all the way it finishes here but it doesn't give any line breaks in between okay because we already learned that even if you write in the source code with line breaks it is not gonna give you the line breaks in your browser because if you need a line break in the browser you need a B attack so I'm gonna place some BR tags in here so I will place a BR here and I'm gonna place a BR over here okay finally I will place one BR here too so in this place I will place a BR so how many line breaks I made one two three line breaks so let me save it then I go back to my browser okay go back to the browser window refresh it so there you go there is line breaks right so BR tag is the one which will give you the line breaks okay so we were talking about something called horizontal thematic line break right so we will try that I want to have a line break between my heading and the paragraph not a usual line break it a thematic break okay so for a thematic break do you remember which tag was that yes that's it which one was that hr okay so same like br hr is also an empty tag what does that mean you don't need to put a closing tag for this okay so let me make sure that i saved this one and i will go back to my browser and i will refresh it there you go so what do you see here this is an hr thematic break horizontal thematic break okay shall we place one after the paragraph also okay let me try to place one after the paragraph so this is after the paragraph okay so then I will place H R that's a thematic break so we go down go back to my browser and refresh it okay so there you go so there is two HR so today we were talking about the paragraph tag which is used for placing the paragraphs in your browser then we have learned about BR tag which is for making line breaks in the paragraph and we have learned about HR tag which is used for placing a thematic breaks in your browser okay thank you so much for listening and make sure that you subscribe this channel for avoiding missing lesson and make sure that you press the bell icon and you can comment like share this video thank you so much i will see you again in the next video bye